Hello there, Yahtzee Tokomaida here with my top 5 board games. There's no better way to kill time than with a good board game to play with your friends. And what better way to talk about them than by alienating everyone watching by making a highly subjective list that only applies to my limited tastes. Starting at number 5 is Hungry Hungry Hippos. What an awful, despair-inducing game! Even with my luck, I haven't even come close to winning a single round in my life. Not to mention, the plot of the game makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Why are these vibrantly colored hippos so hungry in the first place? And why are they eating a bunch of nutrient-deficient plastic balls? I hope everyone takes this as a warning to never approach these hopeless hungry hippos ever again. Not even scum like myself deserves to be tortured by this... thing. Number 4 is The Game of Life. It's a solid game, but it does have a few flaws. While I do see the charm in experiencing life through a different lens, aren't the options just a bit too shallow? In comparison to the shining symbols of hope I spend most of my time admiring, from a legally compliant distance, the choices available to you are a bit talentless in comparison. Not as talentless as me, but definitely not on the level of all my outstanding classmates in Hajime. Huh, I guess I don't really like it that much. The only reason it isn't lower is because I'd rather play anything than the hippo-shaped trash that came before it. Number 3 is being bored. This is the risk you take while playing any board game, whether it's good or bad. There's really only so much one can take of drawing cards and moving pieces around until you finally get sick of it all. I often get so bored of board games that I just want to bore a board aboard my bored out skull! Well, not literally, but you know what, this was a stretch even for number 3. Let's move on to a more substantial choice. Number two is Clue. I'm not entirely sure why, but this game has always felt eerily familiar to me. I've always been fascinated by murder mysteries, and there's nothing I love more than working with my classmates to achieve the greatest hope by weeding out the despair-ridden killer. It's one of the few games where I can utilize skill just as much as luck. Honestly, it's as if I was made to do this. Honorable mentions include Operation, Risk, Diving Boards. And finishing the list at number one, we have Monopoly. Now, I know this is going to be a controversial choice, but hear me out before leaving a despair-inducing comment. Is there nothing more hopeful in the world of board games than slowly taking over the entirety of a Monopoly board and forcing everyone to bend to your will? After all, the greatest hope shine when facing the greatest of despair. And let me tell you, Winning Monopoly is one of the greatest hopes one can experience! I originally had an entire musical number planned for this video based around my totalitarian tendencies while playing Monopoly. But unfortunately, I'm in between record labels right now, and I'm not allowed to release any more music until I get that sorted. Maybe next time. But that's all for today. Remember to like and subscribe for my thoughts on more hopeful ways to waste time. Bye now.